Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows from a USB drive on your Acer Predator 17. So, um, if you want to install Windows from a USB drive for many various reasons, you've forgotten your password, you don't have any system at all on your laptop, or something's corrupted, you just want to get a fresh install, whatever. Um, for any reason at all, feel free to do that, but of course, if you have any data on your computer right now and you can access it, then you should back it up before um, you begin. And the, la the model that I have right here only supports uh, Windows 10, it doesn't support Windows 11, uh, which means I'll be getting the Windows 10. Of course, if your model supports Windows 11, feel free to get it. Uh, and um, yeah, if you want to learn whether your model supports Windows 11, then you just need to know which series of the CPU you have. Uh, so I have the Intel Core i7 7th generation, which isn't supported by Windows 11. But if you have the 8th or newer generation, then it will be supported. And you can either find out by right-clicking on the, if you have access to your system, right-click on the taskbar and click on Task Manager, then more details and go to performance. In the CPU, you'll see the first digit or after uh, the dash is the generation. So, or if it's 10 or higher than the first two digits, or digits of course, uh, or if it's, it's that instead of core, it says ultra then also it's like the newest generation they will for sure run windows 11 um but yeah i have the seventh generation uh which means that basically i uh, cannot install windows 11 um of course this can be omitted but um, i'm gonna do the official way so i'm not gonna change anything up because it may uh, compromise my security which i don't really want um and if you can't find out this way then you might have a sticker that may say the generation or just uh, look at the back of your device there should be a model written and look it up on the internet and see which cpu does it have because you know it will be the number of the revision because there are different revisions from different years and stuff and what we also need to have is if you don't have access to your system right now you'll need to use another windows device it has to have windows and has to have access to the internet uh, so it can download the file and um, also you will need a usb drive that's at least 16 gigabytes i mean maybe 8 is fine but i suggest 16 um, you can probably get it pretty cheap uh, so yeah and i'm gonna move on to that other device right now and we're gonna download the iso file okay so now on the other device you should simply go to the um, microsoft website so if your device runs uh, windows 11 if it supports it then um you can really just like search windows 11 iso but if it doesn't then search for windows 10 iso then go to the microsoft website and on the microsoft website scroll down and if you're searching for windows 10 then the only way you can do is create Windows 10 installation media uh, but with Windows 11 you can either choose I think you can also choose the create Windows 11 installation media doesn't really matter uh, so download that uh, but also for win because I'm gonna use like not the very native method uh, because I think the, like the second one is faster and more convenient uh, so if you're getting the Windows 11 you can also scroll a bit 
further down and you'll see download file ISO and just select the language and stuff and download that. Um, yeah. Then um, once it's downloaded with the Windows 11, you can continue to the next step um, where I'm uh, like downloading Rufus tool. But here, if you have Windows, if you're installing Windows 10, you need to open file. And yes. And then it'll get a few things ready and we just need to go to select uh, the ISO file because you can also create the USB bootable drive straight from the um, from this application but I don't really like that method so I'm, not, so I'm not gonna do that and also I just have the ISO already done so I'm just gonna show you how to get the ISO from here and um, yeah so just click on accept Now it asks me whether I want to upgrade this PC now, but no, I want to create installation media. Click on next. I'm gonna disable recommended options. If you want, you can disable recommended options, change the version, change the ar architecture. You can get both, honestly. Mm, and change the language, of course, if you need that. Then click on next and select ISO file. Then click on next. And all you'll need to do is just point to the location you want to get it on. So maybe the downloads, I think it's the most convenient and click on save and then wait until this process finishes. And now um, I think for everyone, for the Windows 11 and Windows 10 users, go to rufus.ie website. This is the exact website you should go on. Scroll down until you find download and select most probably the first one. Yeah. Um, open the file. Yes. You can allow it to um, check for stuff. Then uh, plug in your USB drive that you're gonna create uh, the bootable drive on. And um, you need to know that all your data on that drive will be deleted. Then select this certain device and select the ISO file that we have created. I already have it on my desktop. You can see this is how the Windows 11 ISO name typically looks like. And this is the Windows 10 how it looks like, but it could be different if you've changed it or if you've done the Windows 11 through the tool, not with uh, like not downloading it straight from the website. Then click on start. You can change a few things here, but I'm just gonna click on OK, 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 and wait until it's all done. It will take a moment to copy all the files, and after that's done, we're gonna continue with booting from that drive on the um, on the Predator, which is pretty pretty easy because uh, this laptop doesn't require any like different stuff that you need to do, like downloading some drivers in the process. Um, it's very straightforward on this laptop, fortunately. Okay, and it's ready. You can see it says it's ready here. And I can close the Rufus, unplug the USB drive and continue with the Predator. So all you need to do is plug in the drive to the Predator and then we're gonna boot from it. If your device is currently on, then you should simply uh, shut it down and um, wait for several seconds up to like 15 or 20 to make sure it's completely off, none of the lights are lighting up, besides some like battery lights maybe and then press on the power button and uh, immediately after you release it start uh, repeatedly pressing on the F12 key if it goes into the one-time boot menu which will be like gray 
uh, with uh, blue um, stripes at the top and the bottom and a list of devices that you can boot from it's great if it doesn't happen then you should turn off your laptop turn it on again and after turning it on start repeatedly pressing on F2 key I believe so let's do that because um, sometimes the F12 key is disabled so I'm clicking on the F2 key right now repeatedly of course oh I have a password didn't know that Mm, yeah, and now go to the um, boot. No, sorry. Mm, go to main and find. Uh, of course, use arrows for that. Uh, and go to F12 boot menu. Click on enter and set it to enabled. Now click on F10 key on your keyboard to save and exit. And after the screen goes dark, start repeatedly pressing on the F. 12 key and that should let us go into the one-time boot menu which will let us select the USB device to boot from it and it did not happen and why is that so if that's the case then we should also try to mess around with the BIOS which we were in a moment ago so I'm just gonna press and hold on the power button to force the shutdown. And then press on the F2 key repeatedly and we're gonna just try to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we have the USB option at all well looks like we have mm, I'm also gonna check if there's like something mm, I don't really know honestly it's pretty weird but I'm gonna try to enable the secure boot maybe it'll help uh, then it's probably all I need right now it doesn't seem like there's any other issue but I'm also gonna try to uh, plug in the um, the USB drive made to a different port or something okay also make sure that it's plugged all the way in then F10 to save and exit, enter and F12 repeatedly. And it is there. So let's go to the USB HDD, click on enter and wait until it boots into the Windows 10 installation. Now, once it's booted, of course, select the language, the stuff. Uh, you can use the touchpad because it works most probably. And uh, select the language, the time and currency format, and the keyboard input method. Click on next, install now. Now accept the license terms, click on next and select custom. Then uh, you'll probably see two drives. Um, I mean, maybe not probably, but there is a chance of it because um, sometimes you may have an SDD and HDD drive and probably you'll, you'd prefer the SDD drive, SSD, sorry, SSD drive. Uh, so that's what you should select if you don't know um, which drive is which then maybe one of them will be marked you can see I have like 
drive one, partition one, partition two and stuff, but on there is an existing partition that says HD and it's located on drive one. So I know that this drive is HD. By the way, the HD drive if exists, there is a high chance of it being bigger than the drive zero and to just know the size of your drive all you need to do is sum up the total size of all the partitions located on one drive you can see this one is around like 480 gigabytes and this one is around a thousand gigabytes so i know the bigger one is probably the hd because this is the point of having an hd it's just cheaper so I'm gonna install it on SSD, SSD because it's gonna be way faster um, it, it's gonna boot up faster so what I what I like to do is delete all the partitions click on partition 1, click on delete, ok then click on partition 2 and if you have more then also delete those until there's only drive 0 and allocated space or drive 1 but most probably the SSD will be the drive 0 then click on next and now wait until it copies files, gets files ready, installs some features, updates, whatever, and finishes that. Mm, and by the way, your device may restart several times. Now, for some reason that it has asked me about like the system which I'd like to choose, um, it's quite weird. I presume that there is a system installed also on the HD drive, maybe someone has installed it before me. Um, but yeah, it's loading, so I don't really care about that. Okay, so uh, we are in the setup process. Um, I've muted the Cortana. I don't really want to hear that. Hear her. And it's basically all you have right here. Um, you just need to um, set up your device. And I'm not gonna show you the setup process because it goes without any problems. So. You can simply set it up or if you don't know how there is also a video on it on our channel and that's all for today i hope that video was helpful that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time